All right, guys, if you haven't seen this yet, uh, Trump signed the bill, but he put out a statement that is really telling. Um, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to focus on the first page, the first page of it. I'm going to focus on the second page, which is this one. And it's really important um, what he put in this. So basically he got Congress to promise that Section 230 will be either revoked, terminated, or it will be substantially reformed. I'm pretty dang sure he told them how it should be reformed. Basically, if you don't know, Section 230 um, gives it basically protects the big tech companies that are that are that own Twitter and Facebook and all that from any kind of um, legal accountability for doing things like censoring free speech um, and that sort of thing. They're acting like publishers essentially by censoring and taking down accounts and whatnot. So um, they really should not any longer get those protections that Section 230 was set up to protect them uh, to, to do. Um, and then um, also he actually got them to agree to look into voter fraud, which is just incredible. Um, so how did he do this? Well, he invoked this, um, old, uh, bill that nobody really was paying attention to. Let's see if I can go back to the first page. There we go. Um, so I didn't highlight this. I wasn't going to make this very long, but, um, he used, where is it? Where is it? Freaking, it might not even be in this. Um, okay. So I'm actually not sure that it's actually in this statement that he put out. But if you if you can you can go and look if you haven't seen this yet, but essentially he basically just trapped them. So if they go back on their word, which all of us are probably, you know, I'm guessing most patriots are expecting them to do because they're just total slime ball swamp creatures, then it's super public. It's like the remaining normies, which are in the minority, but still they are going to see how Congress and the Senate just basically lied and went against what they said they were going to go against because it's been publicized now. So it's, it's a brilliant move. And then I believe the, the old law, the it's 1974. I can't think of what it's called. I'm sure it's easy to look that up. Um, basically allowed him to redline the, the stimulus bill, which he did heavily line by line. And he basically told them they need to, that's how he communicated to them that they need to make these revisions that I've highlighted here. And that, that law allowed him to do that and so they have to they're gonna have to legally it's like a he, he basically just got them in a little corner it was really brilliant anyway so i just want to share that in case you heard about him voting yes and are upset um just remember potus is a genius he's a stable genius and he demonstrates that to us right and left and he's just done it again so um hang in there guys